I deeply apologize. But I may or may not have forgotten to hit record. This is definitely here, my mirage. I guess. Only here can I see extraordinary sights like these. Extraordinary? Why do you say that? You know, the night sky of Tavat is truly marvelous. All the answers in the world seem to have been hidden within. When is my missing son going to be found? Do they love me or not? Will I ever recover? As your stars move across the sky, they record all your life events in their path. And among all the people in the world, a considerable number will see their stars deviate from their path. When your stars are on track, it means you will be healthy, happy, and at peace. Conversely, if your stars go off track, everything will get worse. The starry sky in my divinations would never look as perfect as this. Some stars would lose their way, and others would fall. I wish everyone could be happy and stay on track. To this end, I offer advice and tell the truth. I know it's useless. All fates are already revealed in the night sky, with mine too, just another among them. Even so, outside of astrology, outside of the words of truth, I still cling to the wisp of an irrational fantasy. We must all live within the confines of reality, but... Call me presumptuous. But I still in this vast sea of stars. There are stars for you, for me, for everybody. What are the chances of one star encountering another? Are these encounters not the most wonderful miracles in all of destiny? <laughs> I don't know, but within Tevat, the stars in the sky will always have a place for us. Even if astrology is resolutely rational, fate remains arbitrary, cruel, but romantic. <laughs> I think I have figured out what those stars are hiding. Now I will seize my own destiny. There was a transparent bird made of crystal. It was beautiful and fragile and could sing the most beautiful songs. But since mortals couldn't see it, they believed it to be a trick. How could a transparent bird possibly exist, let alone sing? When the bird heard that, it flapped its wings and flew across mountains and seas all the way to the night sky, where it turned into a star. Its brilliance was so dazzling that it illuminated everyone. It allowed all those that could see it to follow its light through the dark night, to sail through the seas under the guidance of the stars. It was born in wisdom, but trapped in ignorance. It has never voiced a complaint, for this is its destiny. Guiding people to see their destinies is the very meaning of its existence. We're back here again! So... Are we completely out of the Mirage? How strange. My Mirage didn't contain any hints on the Tui or the Machine. Does that mean they had nothing to do with these Mirages after all? 
Or perhaps these mirages are a mere consequence and not part of a process at all. Um, Paimon's lost. I mean, these mirages were not steps toward solving the mystery, but rather a direct effect of whatever's going on. Someone did something to bring the mirages into being. As they were just passive side products, it was natural that they couldn't provide us with any useful information. In other words, those mirages were only about ourselves. Hmm. Pure materializations of ourselves. Interesting. Hmm. Everyone, maybe we should go back to where this whole thing began. During our first day on the island, the Traveler and I checked out the Fatui camp together. We found a strange machine there, as well as some disoriented Fatui. The researcher who spoke to us claimed that the machine was just a Fatui industrial invention. He even promised to not disturb us. Right, right! And the Cappy Cap guy looked half asleep the entire time! He kept talking nonsense! I wonder, is it possible that madness and mirages are two different outcomes of the machine's influence? If so, everything can be traced back to that damaged machine. Except for the difference in how it affects people. This, I believe, is caused by differences between the affected people themselves. Oh, when you put it that way, it is indeed difficult to distinguish dreams and hallucinations. So what you're saying is, the device affected us differently because we are different from the Fatui. Yes. And according to our observations over these past few days, I think the difference is that we all have stronger willpower. Yeah, I can get behind that. People with strong willpower will hallucinate instead of falling into madness. But those who break too easily can't maintain a stable mirage. In other words, we should go back to the Fatui camp and destroy that machine right away! No, it should be repaired rather than destroyed. What Main Fräulein means is that rashly destroying a machine we do not understand may lead to more serious consequences. Right. It pays to be cautious. If my guess is correct, that machine is capable of influencing the human brain. So we'd better tread carefully. So let's go now! There's no time to waste! Oh my god, we finally unlocked everything. Holy shit. This took so fucking long. Oh, it's a side quest. I mean, sure, let's go to it. Why not? Since we're already here. Ahoy there! You're finally here! I've been waiting for a long time. Even my deck is getting burrs. But this boat? Does this boat even have a deck? This is a dinghy at most! Ha ha ha! Who would have thought that I, the notorious pirate ship commanded by Akko Domeki, would one day end up like this? So, you're a big pirate ship? Uh, but who's Akko Domeki? What? You don't even know who Akko Domeki is? Akko Domeki Zaimon? Defender of Serai! The name of the most feared pirate ever to sail the seas! Oh, who would have thought? Nope, the name doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> all right, Nitaboru, you told us to come here, so tell us, what is this all about? It feels so weird being called that all of a sudden. Ugh. You see, as I said, I'm here because I drifted here. So I'm thinking my original body must be nearby. It feels strange using the word body. <laughs> but I do need to find it as soon as possible. I've lost track of how long I've been sleeping here. But I'm certain my companions will still be waiting for me. I need to find my body, get ship shape, and return to them as soon as possible. Right! <laughs> Aye, but I can't make it there on my own. After all, a talking ship is just a ship. It still needs someone at the wheel. Let's make a deal. 
You help me find my body, and I will help you find treasure in return. Treasure? I'm a pirate ship after all. Call it a pirate ship's intuition, or some kind of sixth sense. Either way, the moment I woke up, I could sense that this area is filled with valuable treasures. You have my word. A pirate ship always finds its treasure. Arr. Or may I be blighted with barnacles. What say ye, me hearties? Do we have an accord? Let's help beat the borough. If he finds his body and we get treasure in return, everybody wins! <laughs> so? Will you help me or not? Great! Well, there's a place I wanted to go to as soon as I woke up. Based on my pirate ship's intuition, there be some big treasure hidden there. Arr, let's head there and search for it. Time to set sail! Did you find anything valuable? Uh, me to borrow. There's nothing on this island except for a shipwreck. What kind of intuition is that? What? No! Impossible! Ah! I know. It must be because I've been sleeping for too long, and my intuition is not as sharp as it once was. Uh, as the saying goes, nobody's perfect, and certainly no boat's perfect either, right? Cut me! The next place will be the one. I'm sure the next place will be full of treasure. It better be! 
No more playing tricks on us this time. You have my word. But, um... The next place is a little far away. And I'm not sure of the precise location. All I know is that it's somewhere northwest of here. But there are so many islands in the northwest. Oh, you gotta give us a little more than that. Wait a minute. If you mean one of the larger islands, there are only two of them in the northwest. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do sense the cawing of ravens coming from over there. But not just the sound of ravens, no. To be precise, the cawing is coming from the east, and the music is coming from the southwest. So, you're hearing two sounds? Ugh, where could this darn treasure be? But where can you hear the sounds from both islands at the same time? Oh, you're right! Yep, that's exactly what Paimon was thinking, too. Ah, then let's go over and take a look. Ha 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 ha. You know, I must say, it seems you two are quite close. You bet! We've been on loads of adventures together and found lots of treasure before. Ah. If only I'd been able to speak back when we were sailing on the sea, then maybe I would have been able to communicate with my companions just like you two. You seem to have so much fun together. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> All right. Time to find the center location of these two big islands. Into the wind. Follow the wind. One with nature. There you are! 
How did it go? Did you find some? Oh, a huge load of nothing. Oh, I dropped the cannonball again, didn't I? Same as last time. Just another shipwreck. Maybe they're parts of your body. We took pictures of them. Take a look. Is this a painting? I didn't know you two could paint so well. Just look at the detail. Down to the smallest blade of grass. It's just like the real thing. We didn't paint this. We took it using a camera. So it was drawn by a machine through some high-speed mechanism. So even the mighty pirate ship has never seen a camera before. What are you trying to say? It's not like I haven't seen similar things before. It's just like the hell paintings in all of those legends. But anyway, what's that thing in the middle of this picture? That's the shipwreck we found. Take a look. Could it be your body? Hmm. Impossible! Where did this sorry ship come from? It's a total wreck! You may not know this, but I'm considered as the mightiest pirate ship of the Akodomiki fleet. My hull is made of the best wood found on Seirai Island. The edges of my frame boards were refined with folding saws so that the pieces fit together perfectly. Then, they were joined together and reinforced with large rivets, making me indestructible. There's no way I could end up like this. But your intuition led us to shipwrecks twice in a row. It's probably because of the special bond between all boats that draws us to one another. Before they run aground, these ships may well have been self-aware, too. The remnants of their spirit is most likely what I sensed. Anyway, this can't be my body. My body's probably docked at a hidden port somewhere in these waters. You'll see. My side panels are painted with the finest lacquer. Arr, what a majestic sight I used to be. Once we find it, you'll realize how different I am from this shipwreck in your picture. That sounds great! We should go for a cruise together sometime. Ah, that's for sure. I can't believe I sensed the wrong thing twice in a row. The lack of maintenance has really taken the wind out of my sails as far as my intuition goes. You have to apply cork once in a while if you want a long-lasting voyage. That goes for people, too. What the heck is Kulk? Is it the glue that holds all the parts of the ship together? Ha <laughs> ha! Paimon, you're a funny one, aren't you? No, but you're not that far off. Kulk is the stuff we use to fill the gaps between the planks to stop water from leaking into the ship. It's made of rubber or something. Every once in a while, you gotta caulk the gaps as part of the maintenance. Exactly! Which reminds me, I got some good rest when you two went on that little adventure. I'm sure I'll be able to sense where the real treasure is now. Third time's the charm. Time to get serious. We'll definitely find something this time. I'm unsure hope so. Anything will do at this point. What's wrong, Paimon? You don't sound like you believe me. Anyway, this time, I sense something in the southeast. On the sea surface, it doesn't feel like something very big. And that raises the chances of it being a small but valuable item. Ha ha ha! Come on, let's go. Like it should be somewhere around here. Hmm. Could it be this reef? It looks kind of small. Uh, but let's go check it out.
out anyway. Surely you found something this time. Have I finally convinced you of this mighty pirate ship's razor-sharp treasure hunting senses? All there was was a bird's nest. So, yeah, technically there were a couple of eggs. Uh, but that was all. Oh. Just, uh... Just the two, you say? Really? So this is the valuable treasure you were talking about? <clears throat> Paimon, you may not be aware, but the mightier the pirate ship, the longer its voyage at sea, you see. Eventually, the only food available on board is dry fish. At times like this, a couple of bird eggs on a reef nearby can easily become the most valuable treasure to a crew. Mitaboru! Okay, fine. But how the heck did I end up sensing eggs? How strange. I swear I sense something. But there's nothing else on the reef. Could it be these two planks? Seems like they were used as a shelter. Hmm. Paimon wonders where they came from. <sighs> I know where this plank comes from. Traveler, Paimon, what you saw just now was my own memory. It was my first time sailing on the sea after I was built. The crew used greased planks to create a slipway, then launched me into the water. The thing is, it's really hard to control the angle at which the bow launches onto the water. It could very well break if you're not careful. Which is why most people choose to launch the ship sideways instead. These two planks, or should I say, these two side panels, they must have been the first parts of my body to make contact with the water. Mitaboru, um, if your side panels are here, does that mean... Maybe I crashed into the reef here and was shattered to pieces long ago. And maybe the sensation I had when I woke up wasn't some kind of treasure-hunting intuition after all, but me responding to my own body. There I was, making fun of that shipwreck, blissfully unaware that I was actually making fun of my own body. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, how embarrassing. We don't know that for sure. Maybe... Maybe your body is still in one piece. Yeah, these two planks are probably just, uh, um, uh, uh, part of your family tree. Yup, could share the same roots. Even if it's not, there are loads of shipwrecks around here. These planks probably just belong to one of them. But... I... Uh, thank you. By the way, Mitaburu... Wasn't there something about your name mentioned in that memory? Do you remember your name now? Oh, it's a pity. But I'm afraid I didn't see much more than you did. I still can't recall my name. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it's not too bad. You and the Traveler can keep calling me Mitoboru. It's a good name. <laughs> of course it is! Paimon picked it after all. So, Mitaboru, is there anywhere else you want to go? Although I can sense two more places, I fear it will be the same situation as before. No treasures, only some driftwood. It doesn't matter. Arr, but I swore there'd be treasure in this deal for you. Hey, it's okay, Mitaboru. We're friends now. Well, in that case, whether it's treasure or not, let's hope you two can find something rather than nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! Good! 
Let's go to the closer location first. Treasure here. Paimon knows that. Paimon just can't help feeling a little disappointed. That's all. There's a wooden sword here. It looks like a children's toy. Hey! The thing I sensed. Could it be this wooden sword? Surely it couldn't be a wooden sword. me timbers! I remember now! The sea battle between Akodomiki and the Shogunate! And then the lightning that came at the end of the battle! Oh, oh, what could it have been? Will blow me down! Just a fraction of the Thunderbird's wrath, and yet still so powerful! Wait! But the lightning came from Seirai Island! Traveler, have you been there? Do you know what- No. I can't believe it. It was a truly terrible thunderstorm, it was. Ah, oh, I don't have the words to describe the horror of it. We stood up against the Shogunate precisely because we did not want our homeland to be ruled by them. We wanted to protect the people of Seirai Island. We made an enemy of the Shogunate for the sake of Seirai Island, and in the end... Oh, Shrine Maiden, why... Wait, so that thunderstorm was the reason I... the reason I drifted here. I... I was terribly injured in that storm. My whole body was falling apart. It took all my strength to get here. Ah, uh, Mitaboru. But what about the wooden sword? This wooden sword is made from my broken timber. Zaimon once seized a sword-wielding Mago with his barbed spear. The Mago drifted here with us. The wooden sword was probably crafted by local children imitating the Mago's sword. The body of the mighty pirate ship that once fought against the Shogunate, now reduced to a children's toy of all things! Arr, my mind is awash with strange and complex feelings. So, Mitaboru... Should we take this with us? After all, it is a part of you. No, there's no point taking this now. <laughs> Young scallywags. The little landlubbers got me this time. <sighs> Although it's disappointing now that I remember the truth, somehow I feel relieved too. At least I know what happened. I won't be deceiving myself with my wishful thinking any longer. The only thing I'm worried about now is my old mateys who drifted here with me. I wish I could know how they're doing. Aye, let's hope so. Okay, there's one last place. I can feel it. It's the last piece of my body.
Is the last place somewhere around here? I most sure. The precise machine seems to be in that house. There are a lot of wooden planks on this conch house, but they don't look like what we're after. Oh, could it be the one on the stone? What is it, though? A board nailed onto two wooden strips with a wooden mallet next to it? This is a musical instrument? Uh, can it really make a decent sound? Why don't we try it out first before giving it to Mitoboru? Paimon's pretty sure this instrument hasn't been repaired in a long time. Well, this must be the last fragment of Mitoboru's body. Come on, let's go tell him! You're back! How did it go? Did you find anything? This is indeed my last piece! But what the festering fish bait have they turned me into this time? We think it's a musical instrument, but it hasn't been fixed for a while, so you can't really play anything with it. Is that so? Ah, a pity to be sure. Musical instrument. <laughs> I never imagined that my broken body could be used to play music. It makes me think of my old mates. They used to sing when the mood took them. They'd sit by the beach facing the campfire. Hey, what kind of sound does this instrument make? Why don't you give it a try? Uh, it hasn't been caulked for a long time, so it might not sound as good as you're hoping. It doesn't matter. Satisfy my curiosity. Just strike it and see what happens. So, they found a way back. Aye, but since I was so badly damaged, it was the most I could do to bring them here. There was no way I could go back with them. Ah, oh, it gladdens me heart to know that they are safe. But I... Even though I said goodbye to them, I still can't help thinking, what if I could have gone back with them? Oh, how I wish we had returned together. With them, I would have been willing to go anywhere. No matter how dangerous. There are so many grand adventures for us to go on. So many treasures out there in the world waiting for us to discover them. Why did I have to be left here abandoned like this? I could do nothing but watch them leave and embark on a new journey without me. I... I still feel the sadness now that I remember it. Even after all this time. Laugh when you feel like crying, and press on when you feel like giving up. That's how you survive out on the ocean. Anyway, thank you for helping me remember all of this. Thank you kindly. I'm afraid, though, that they seem to have taken most of the treasure with them when they left. Yeah! In a way, all the things you sensed really were invaluable treasures. To you, at least. Hi, it's true. Tis a shame I can't repay your kindness. As a ship, there's only so much I can do. But, um, in the future, if I ever need your help again, We'll be here for you, whenever you need us, Mitaboru. Right? Fantastic! Thank you both. And if you ever voyage in these seas again, I will be your trusty companion. Didn't Mitaboru say he wanted to meet us? Let's go find him and see what it's about.
<laughs> Everyone's gone crazy. Everyone should get out of here. Well, they'll never wake up. But I was right, my precious. <laughs> you are invincible. <laughs> precious? What's his precious? A miracle machine. Definitely not impossible. I think he's referring to that machine. What a drunkard. Hmm. Oh, goodness. The smell of alcohol. Maid Fräulein, please allow me to fan the fumes away with my wings. Oh, excellent. Please fan them away for me, too. Certainly. I've checked the surroundings, but there's no one else here. Isn't that strange? The Fatui is a big organization, but he's the only one left at this camp. What's more, we didn't even see him the last time we were here. Even the larger gentleman from the first time is missing. I think they must be hiding somewhere. As for why they may be hiding, I'm afraid we'll have to ask him. But he's as drunk as Tone Deaf Bard! Oh, should we wait for him to sober up? Cleanse him with the Holy Spring of Punishment. Main Fräulein means to splash him with water. Ooh, sounds like a good idea. Let's try. Hey, he opened his eyes. Uh, huh? Hey, are you one of the Fatui? Can you tell us what happened here and what that machine is for? <laughs> Fatui? Ha! Fatui. Uh, those blockheads from the administration will regret it now. <laughs> That's what you get for rejecting my research, and forcing me to, forcing me to, to conduct my research on this deserted island. <laughs> my precious, my precious. Uh, why is he crying? Looks like he has a lot of pent up emotions. You mocked me. And my precious invention. You... You don't know anything about the future. Only my invention can help us conquer the world. <laughs> idiots. Such idiots. <laughs> Ow! Don't hit me. I won't blow up the lab again. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. This man's gone insane. There's no way we can communicate with him. He wasn't like this when we first met him. It looks like the effects have grown worse, to the point of driving him mad. <laughs> My manuscript. My manuscript. Only that can... can save... save... <laughs> Manuscript? Where is it? Don't yell at me! Don't yell at me! Official! Don't yell at him! <laughs> Then I'll... let me try. A uh, kind sir, look at me. Now tell me, where did you hide your manuscript? <laughs> no! No, don't force me to write a report! <laughs> Go away! Uh, he's completely lost in his own imagination. Allow me. Please excuse me. <laughs> oh! My butt! <sighs> my brain is finally starting to work again. It's... it's not a mushy mess anymore. Can you tell me where you put the manuscript? The manuscript. The manuscript... He's in the crack over there. Oh, finally! 
Otherwise, I was gonna have to blast some of my loudest rock and roll in his ears. Kazuha hesitated for a long time before making a move. He's so nice. Everyone, let's search the stone cracks nearby for the manuscript. <laughs> 